Yep. Okay, that's Teresa on her way. All kinds of holistic things happening there. Make what you will of it. All I can tell you is uh, I didn't feel any bad karma coming from her. Uh, whether, it's, whether it does any good or not, I don't know, but certainly it'll not do you any harm. Uh, if, if she's there to listen, uh, that's, that can be a good thing. I'm joined now by Michael, Mike, Michael O'Hare. How are you? How are you doing, Rowan? See you, Michael. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. Thank you. I more you. normally see you around the golf club. Yeah. 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 How did you break away from the golf this morning? Well, Friday is uh, usually a busy day for me today, you know, yeah. but I took time out to come up and to speak to you. You're very know? good. And, um, but your day begins very early because you're, you're, you're the man who's at the helm of the O'Hare Bakery in Warren Point. That's true, Rowan. How long has the bakery been operational? It's been going there from 1962. My mother and wow. father started in 19... Yeah. It was the old post office in Warren Point. Yeah. And my mother and father started there. And there were less than 1,800 people in Warren Point when my mother and father days. started in business, yeah. My God. It was a completely different place then, you know. Ah, it is, yes. Yeah. But you're with me today to talk about uh, your brother, Pat O'Hare. And Pat... By, received wonderful recognition from his school in Downpatrick and they have now named a new sports facility after him. What was that about? Well Rowan, Pat um, started the life as a very energetic person. He went to the Abbey School and uh, immediately got involved in sport. Um, he holds many records in the Abbey for running. He was also involved in all the Gaelic teams in the Abbey and um, his life was going to be a sport and PE teacher. So um, he went to college then and um, graduated and his first job was in Downpatrick mm -hmm. as a um, PE teacher and um, he got on famously there and met his wife there, Anne Marie there in Downpatrick and got married in Downpatrick and had two children but he taught in Downpatrick all his life and um, very very energetic person and a very charismatic person. And also very well loved Va it would seem. Very well loved by us all. Because you know? when he, pa he passed away Suddenly and un unexpectedly. Yes, Rowan, he was at my 50th birthday party on the 1st of May in Warren Point Golf Club, full of life and full of energy as he always was. It was a surprise party for me. And on the 3rd of May, he was in Belfast with his wife and children and took a massive heart attack and died. He was gone. Instantly he was gone. Yeah. yeah. yeah suddenly the, the light had gone out of their lives yes, because he yes. was a huge light. Yes, he was, Rowan. He was a lighthouse yeah. for goodness sake. He was sake. indeed, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you best remember him? I just remember him as a, a giving person he gave and he was a very very caring person you know and this is why he's been honoured at the school you know and to think that 14 years after he died he died on the 3rd of May in 1989 that his colleagues in the school and the uh, board of governors and everyone involved would honour him in this way yeah. and it's a tremendous comfort to us all especially to his wife Anne Marie who's done a tremendous job yeah. and to his two children that they would honour him in this way that they would name this pitch that for generations um, it will always be called the Pat O'Hara Park. Yeah. It's somewhere where we can go, our children can go, mm. our grandchildren and we can always remember them and it's a wonderful thing that um, they have done for us yeah. and we truly appreciate it. You know. How close were you to him? Very close to him, you know, he was, um, he was a friend, you know, um, my mother died in 1976 and daddy lived on his own for 20 years after that. But he travelled from Down Patrick twice a week to visit Daddy, you know. And when I moved house, he was there to do the garden. When my sister moved house, he was there. He was that sort of a person, you know. He was a given person, you know. He was best man at my wedding. Any insurance policies I had, his name was on it, you know. Yeah. He was that sort of a person. He was there for everybody, you know. Yeah. And obviously, he was um, very well respected at school. Everyone who met him. Yeah. Um, Pete McGrath spoke about him the other night. And um, he said the 91 down won the All-Ireland in 91. Mm. But after 91, things had gone stale. Mm. And he was struggling mm. a bit and the team mm. were struggling a bit. And he came to Pat in 94 and asked him, would he give him a hand? Mm. And Pat said, yes, he would give him a year. And Pete said, like, when you're training a down team in Down Patrick or in, in uh, Ballykindler on a cold winter's night, he says, it's the last outpost. And he says, Pat came there and he engendered an awful lot of enthusiasm mm. and an awful lot of um, fight in those yeah. players. And in 84, they won the All-Ireland mm. and Pete has been very generous. Yeah. He was also very involved in drama as well. Um, he was in the Warren Point Dramatic Society and was involved in many plays in the Town Hall mm. and in Uri Drama Festival. And indeed, Paddy Keelty um, always was great in his praise. He said that Pat was the first man that gave him a leg up yeah. and gave him the encouragement yeah. Um, to go on stage and he was always very generous in his praise and he, he came on video link from England 
on Monday night and spoke. And that was the announcement of, of the park. Yes, Monday that was it. That. Yes, yeah. Does it ever puzzle you and test your faith when you consider that such a good man, with obviously so much more to give, yeah, uh, is taken without explanation? I suppose it does in a way, Rowan. You know, but um, I don't. I've never really blamed God on his death or my mother's death. You know, you don't blame God on that. You know. It, so I wouldn't really say a test in my faith. I'm just thankful that I had those people in my life and in my day, and we remember them every day, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm very, very grateful and thankful that I knew him. Yeah. It was short, and we we'll miss him. We we'll miss him every day, but um, I'm thankful that but we had him. In a funny kind of way, although you can't go for a pint with him uh, or have a cup of tea with him, in a funny kind of way, he's closer to you now than he ever was in life. He's inside you. Yeah, he, oh, he's there, he's there, he's there inside you, yeah. But, I mean, he's left a great legacy. He left a, a son and a daughter, Adam, and um, we played golf. Part of the, the uh, rotor rot- on Monday was a uh, game of golf, and a, um, my two brothers and um, Pat's son, Adam, played a round of golf in Down Patrick. We had a tremendous day, mm-hmm. and he has a daughter, Susie, and she's expecting her first baby in September. Mm-hmm. So Pat would have been delighted about okay. that and thrilled to bits, you know. Yeah. So we're always thinking of him, you know, at all those occasions, you know. They're cheering you on at the tea. Yeah. At the yeah. tea box. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. How is the golf? The golf's good, yeah. I'm What's enjoying happening it. At, the, at the point at the moment? Well, most of our teams are gone, you know, but we still have the Barton Shield team and we still have a few more teams, but we haven't had a very successful team uh, events this year yeah. as far as the teams have gone, you know. You'd be glad to know that your chef from the Fairways restaurant is coming in to me at 10 o'clock, that's Justin. Oh, very, coming very in to good. Coming a cookery spot for yeah, us, about a quarter past 10. He's my own private cook. Oh, cooks well, why for me every be? day. Well, why wouldn't he? cooks he? for me every day. He'd look after And I h- highly recommend him. He's a good lad. Yeah. He's my own flesh and blood. Yeah, so yeah, very nice fellow. Him, uh, him and Lorraine are lovely yeah, people. They yeah. are. Yeah. And you're very kind. You brought us up a gift of some bakery, which you made today. It's just out of the oven, Rowan. Out of the oven. It can't be any fresher. So do you, when you're doing your, you find this man in the bakery in Warren Point, uh, uh, Fernenced the Docks there. That's a good word, Fernenced. Yeah. There's not too many people know the word Fernenced. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, do you actually do, uh, do you do the beating by hand or do you put it all in a big vat and it all happens? Well, things really haven't changed much from my father's time. You know, it's basically done the same. We have moved forward, but it's basically done the same, but it's um, oh, traditional. And yeah. that's why, um, that's why we we're still there after so many years, you know. Hey, down. Sean's bringing us the tart. Look at that. Well done. Yeah. Wow, I can feel it warm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> are, you ready at, are you ready at home to smell this? I think that's the way to do it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that, Sean. For goodness sake. And you made this this morning. Just out of the one. Yeah. yeah. What time does your day begin at? Five o'clock. You're in at five o'clock. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm out of bed at quarter past four. And coming up here, you see, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's all it's all good. Yeah, so look, yeah. thank you very much indeed for that. Not and at all, uh, Rowan. It's a pleasure. You're doing a great job. Well, we'll do our best, and yeah. we don't do anybody any harm. No, no, no. Go well. Thank God you very much, Rowan. Thank you for coming thank in. Thank you very much.